Hello, I'm Dr. Arlene McDougall, and I am the Director and Principal Investigator of MINDS of Blenheim Middlesex. MINDS stands for Mental Health Incubator for Disruptive Solutions. MINDS is the first social innovation lab in Canada established to tackle complex mental health system challenges. We are focused on youth. This means adolescence moving into early adulthood. This is a time in uh, people's lives that they're at most risk for developing mental illness and addiction and are dealing with many other major life changes, including education, career development, identity and relationships. It's so important as a system where we are struggling to meet the needs, uh, mental health care needs of people, especially youth, that we have new ways of understanding the challenges and a space to develop innovative solutions to address them. So that's what MINDS does. It brings together many different forms of expertise and knowledge from professional and academic settings, as well as people with lived experience of mental illness and addiction and those who are caring for people like family members with mental illness and addiction. And we bring all of these different forms of knowledge and expertise together to better understand what are the problems that we're facing as a system and what do we need to do differently and then create those solutions together and test them. So we're so excited that you're here. You're gonna hear about our prototypes that are underway and what we're evaluating and creating. And uh, at the heart of our team are youth. And so I'm so excited to now hand you over to the amazing youth co-creators and co-researchers of MINDS to hear more about our important work. Thank you. Hi, my name is Alec Cook, and I'm one of the youth research assistants here at MINDS. I've been a part of MINDS for almost four years now, starting as a co-op student in my senior year of high school, which has allowed me to work on many of the different projects within the lab. Currently, I'm leading the Youth Centered Practice Project, which aims to bridge the gaps in relationships between youth and the mental health care professionals who serve them by translating the tacit knowledge of experienced mental health care providers to create and pilot training for service providers on being youth-centered. In addition to my other roles within the lab, I'm also one of the facilitators, along with Lily Yosef, of the Youth Mental Health and Addictions Council, which works to bring youth voice to the mental health initiatives across London Middlesex. Uh, working at MINDS has allowed me to gain firsthand experience designing and participating in research, which concerns me as a youth who experiences mental health and as an undergraduate student at the start of my career. I'm so thankful to get to work with the amazing other youth and the incredible adults in the lab supporting us on this journey. Thank you. My name is Ramesa Prevez. I'm one of the youth research assistants at MINDS. I got involved with MINDS during my graduate studies and upon completion of my master's, I started working as a youth research assistant. Throughout my time here, I've been able to develop and strengthen my skills in different areas of research. I've participated in the development and design of prototypes. I've had the opportunity to collect data through focus groups and interviews, conduct qualitative analysis, participate in grant writing and manuscript writing, along with presenting at research conferences. Working here has also allowed me to learn about methodologies such as social innovation, youth participatory action research, and collective impact and how these three methodologies all interconnect. Through MINDS, I've had the opportunity to collaborate on various mental health related projects with adults and youth in the community. One of the prototypes the lab has been working on with community partners is the Road to Mental Health Initiative. This initiative provides transitional age youth in mental health crises who reside in rural Middlesex access to free transportation for mental health services. We partner up with a local taxi company whose drivers have received training on suicide prevention and crisis de-escalation. For the purposes of the pilot, the taxi drivers are providing individuals living in Lucan, Park Hill, Exeter, Strathroy, and surrounding areas with transportation to the CMHA Crisis Centre located in downtown London. We have also extended our services for those who would benefit from access to mental health services more broadly. So that's including appointments and group sessions that can be difficult to get to otherwise. We hope to expand the reach of the program to include the broader rural Middlesex County so we can reach as many youth as possible. Hi there, I'm Isaiah Neves. I'm a youth research assistant at Minds of London Middlesex. 
I got involved with Minds as a volunteer on the Safe Storytelling prototype back in 2019. Uh, now as the U3 Teacher's Assistant, I'm leading several prototypes within the lab. What really drew me into Minds was the movement away from a very individualized, pathologized perspective of mental health towards one that was more founded on fixing the system and looking at how we can make a more holistic change towards tackling mental health struggles. So if you look at a lot of our initiatives, they look at things like educating healthcare providers, developing community, and fostering positive allyship, all of which really look at fixing the system rather than trying to fix the person. The youth-centered approach is also really critical to our model, and it allows us to ensure that all of our resources are relevant and impactful by having young people involved at every stage of development. This also allows young people like myself to become leaders within their community and to develop the resources that they personally need. One of the initiatives that I'm leading right now is called Queer in the Classroom, and it's the development of a resource that's designed to help teachers support the mental well-being of LGBTQ youth in their class. So it's been well documented that queer identified students experience disproportionate risk of mental health struggles. So Queer in the Classroom is looking to offset that risk by guiding teachers on how to build inclusive classrooms and celebrate their classroom diversity. Hi, my name is Lily and I am one of the research assistants at MINDS. For the past two years, I have had the privilege of being one of the co-facilitators of the Youth Mental Health and Addictions Council, also known as WIMAC. WIMAC is a youth-led MINDS prototype committed to promoting youth-centered practice in the mental health care system. I wanted to get involved with MINDS because I admire the transdisciplinary approach to solving complex mental health system challenges with my lab members. I truly feel fortunate to work with a team of folks who practice what they preach, striving to work towards a common goal of tackling issues in the delivery of care, but not neglecting to take care of ourselves either. With Alec Cook as my co-facilitator, we have been able to accomplish more than I expected in the past two years, especially in a pandemic. From our own networks and promotional material, we were able to find approximately 12 youth who are interested in the mission of WIMAC, organized meetings in person prior to the COVID lockdown, had consistent attendance from members who maintained momentum through Zoom meetings, invited various guests who were interested in the work of WIMAC, and most importantly, guided our members through the completion of a peer guidebook. The guidebook is aimed towards transition age youth who want to informally support and provide resource direction to, to their peers with lived mental health or addictions issues. We look forward to the next steps of publishing and disseminating the guidebook as we head into the new year, and we hope this is useful for youth who have been struggling throughout the pandemic. Thank you.